Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this title. First, you need to create a new composition. I'm using the HDTV 1080 preset and the duration is 3 seconds. And then we need to create a background. So I'm going to create a new solid and I'm going to use this light green as the color. So when I hit OK, I have a background. The next step would be to create a new shape layer and then I'm going to add a rectangle and I'm also going to add a fill. So let's change this fill to be a bit lighter, maybe like this. And then I'm going to increase the size of the rectangle to maybe 250, like that. And now I can select the type tool to create a text layer. I'm gonna be using the system font but you can use any other font I just like the way it looks so I'm going to type in line 1 and now for line 2 I need to create a separate text layer so let's type in line 2 and right now I'm going to select both of these text layers and I'm going to open the align panel and I'm gonna align both of these to the horizontal center of the composition. The next step is to enable the 3D switch on all three of these layers and then I can switch to two views. And right now, as you can see, all three of these are flat on the Z axis. So I wanna select line one and as you can see, this is the axis that we're going to move it on. So let's press Control Z to undo that. Um, let's press P and that will show the position and I want to move this to minus 200 on the Z axis. Now for line 2 I want to move it to minus 400. So let's type in minus 400 and right now this is the rectangle, this is line 1 and this is line 2. Uh, the next step is to select both of these and parent them to the shape layer. So now if I rotate the shape layer, you can see that the text layers are going to follow along. So let's press Ctrl Z to undo that. I'm going to switch back to one view and then I'm going to select line 2. I'm going to press S and then I'm just going to scale it down so that it matches line 1. And now I'm going to select line 1 and I'm going to adjust it using the arrow keys like that. I'm going to do the same thing with line 2. And right now we can animate the rotation of the shape layer. So I want to set the value to minus 90 and I want to click on the stopwatch to create a first keyframe. Then at 1 second I'm going to set this back to 0. So it animates from minus 90 to 0. And then right here, I want to create a second keyframe. And at the end, I want this to be at 90. So it animates in from the right and then it animates out to the left. The next step is going to be selecting all of these keyframes and pressing F9 to easy ease them. Then I'm going to open the graph editor and I'm going to right click to make sure that I'm editing the speed graph. Right now, just create a ramp for this set of keyframes and then let's create a ramp for the second set of keyframes and right now if I preview this animation this is how it looks. The next step is enabling motion blur for all three of these layers so you can see that gives us a more interesting look but there's one problem which is at the beginning and at the end these two text layers are still visible. So to fix that, I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to press T, which will show the opacity. And let's press page down and that will move us one frame forwards. So at this frame, I wanna set an opacity keyframe and then I wanna move maybe two frames forwards and I wanna set another set of keyframes. So at the first keyframe, I want to set the value to 0 so that the text is not visible and then two frames later it's visible and if we play this you can see that it looks a lot better and then we can do the same thing at the end so right here I want to set a keyframe 
and I want to set the value to zero and then I want to move two frames backwards by pressing page up one, two times and I want to set the value to 100. So this is what we made. That's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.